Okay, uh, let's analyze another deal in the U.S. here. So, I, a lot of people ask me, well, you know, Glenn, how do you how do you pick your properties? Well, you know, let me show you what let me show you what you're going to get with uh, with the software here with this with the spreadsheet. So, you're going to get a link to this uh, particular page, and basically, basically, what this does is you search for uh, crime uh, areas. So, you're gonna you're gonna paste in your um, your address of the property here and it's going to give you an idea as to you know in the area that is situated is it above average in in crime and is it slightly above and so forth according to the, the colors here so this is going to give you an idea as to if this property is something that you even want to purchase right especially if it's in a you know well above average crime ridden area maybe that's something that you don't want to purchase right okay so but what we need to do is first of all is you know you determine market cap you're also determining uh, friendly states, okay, landlord friendly states. So now if you look at this particular um, image here, you're going to see that anything in red is landlord friendly, okay? So, you know, places like uh, Colorado, Texas, Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, Illinois, um, Ohio, places like that, even New York City, believe it or not, Florida. So what we're doing is we're gonna we're gonna pick a, a a landlord friendly area to start off, okay? So we're gonna pick Colorado today, which is gonna be just right here. All right. So I did do a little preliminary search and I found this property here. It's really nice. Uh, it's a six unit building, and again, so I'm on, I'm log, I'm logged in and I'm it's showing Canadian pricing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna copy and paste it. If you're logged in and you're and you're you know ensuring that you're from the U.S., you'll you'll just see U.S. prices, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here to exchange the money. Just to give us an idea, right, as to how much this is going to be. Oop, too many there. Let's try that again. All right. So this is how much it is in U.S. dollars. Okay. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it right into here, into the software. running a little slow I'm not sure why let's just round that up okay so this is uh, let's go back to the listing we're just gonna move this over a little bit I'm gonna shorten this up so we can do this side by side here okay so uh, let's see what the market cap is okay so this is Colorado right so we're gonna need to go to the market cap uh, um, spreadsheet here and we're going to look for Colorado, and we're going to see roughly what this spreadsheet is. This is a C-class property, right? Uh, so let's see here. So we're going to go to, what did we say it was? Colorado. There we go. Okay. So what is, what is, the, what is the market of... Um, Cap rate in Colorado for a C class property. Let's have a look. So if it's stable, six point five um, C class stable. Use me. So we can use this. We're going to use a six point five. Okay. So we're going to come over here. We're going to put in a six point five. All right. Number of doors is six. Okay. So we're going to go back to the listing. So you can do this side by side. You know, just put one one side, put the spreadsheet. The other side, just put the information. And then you're just going to essentially copy and paste, okay? Uh, so we're going to take this address, right? And let's let's do this first, okay? So we're going to check about if it's in a crime-ridden area. So we're going to go to this website. You'll have a link to all of this stuff uh, once you purchase. We're going to hit enter, and we're going to see if it's in a crime-ridden area. So it's slightly above average, okay? So. So it's actually a pretty large area that's 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 engulfed in this slightly above average. Okay, so uh, it's not red, but it's in the slightly above average. Okay, so this is something to consider before purchasing this property. Okay, um, doesn't mean it's a bad pro investment. It just means that it's something to be con concerned about. So that's something when you do your due diligence after we assess this. If it's a cash flow deal, you're going to need to uh, evaluate this a little bit. Okay. So let's go and we're going to go back to the analyzer here. Uh, I'm not going to take a picture of it. You can take a picture of it and you just kind of place it in here. We're just going to go ahead with this. Okay. So we're going to go with down payment. We're going to go with 
right? Interest rate, we're going to do a 5% interest rate. Uh, we're going to hit enter. So let's read this, okay? So uh, investor opportunity, 16-unit building in Northeast Avenue located at five two-bedroom units and one studio. Okay, so perfect. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go five, two. We're going to put in five for two-bedroom and one studio. So let's let's do let's do it as a one batch here. Okay. So now what we do is we need to go. Okay. Well, what is the in Pueblo, in Pueblo, uh, Colorado? Um, what is the uh, what's the um, average rent? So let's go to the average rent tab. You can this is a, you can just Google this. This is just not a it's not a link. You just have to Google it. Um, I'm just gonna go back. And uh, just do it in a Google search. Just go, what's the average rent in? And then you just type in your uh, the state that you want to uh, that you're looking for. So let's let's just copy that. Yeah, it's running slow. So this running slow. Let me see. Um, let's go here. So the rents are actually pretty low, but again, it's five ninety three, right? This is what they're asking for. So there are two five bedrooms. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go two bedroom. Okay, so two bedrooms in Pueblo, uh, Colorado is 1150, which I've added over here. Uh, so we're going to do one batch studio apartment, um, and that's 648. Okay, so we have one of those. So let's put the numbers in. 648, we'll enter. Okay, so right now the, the, the rent per year is around 66, 60, uh, sorry, 76,000 roughly. Uh, we're going to put a 5% vacancy. Okay. So again, we don't have any expenses in here um, right now. This did populate the taxes and insurance. You can use these numbers. This is based off of one percent, and the insurance is zero point zero zero seven. So what we're going to do is let's go back to the listing. Let's have a look. Let's see if if whatever. Let's see if it gives us any any more information. All unit flooring is laminate and ceramic tile. Awesome. Off street parking. Uh, just minutes for amenities. Uh, this three store has lots of potential. So we're here. Here, here is the price. This, again, this isn't Canadian dollars, but you just you you just have to switch it to American. So basically, it, once you put it in, the, in here, anyways, it automatically populates and tells you what it is. So it's ninety eight thousand per door, uh, based off off of this price. Uh, it was born. It was built in nineteen twenty nine. It's a little older. Let's see. Let's go down here. Okay, it doesn't give you much information. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're just going to use, uh, let's have a look at the, the pictures just to show you. It's actually a nice unit. This over a little bit so you can get a better view. It's actually really nice from outside. Can't find anything like this in Canada, that's for sure, enough for this price. So the, yeah, it's a little dated, the, the, the cabinetry in the kitchen. Nice flooring, ceramics, as I said. Okay, so yes, it's overall it's a nice building. Um, so let's see here. I, so we know what the mix is, which is great, and we know what the average is. Okay, so if you want to go further, obviously you're going to reach out to uh, to this realtor here and Sean Martinez, and here is this uh, Mount, uh, Rocky Mountain Realty. You're going to reach out to this individual and. And get some more information on the property, like secure the the, the rent rolls and and so forth, and the and the P and L. That way, we can kind of narrow this numbers down, this this price is down. But let's do this preliminary. So what we're gonna do is because uh, we don't know if the, if the the tenants are paying utilities, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put in thirty five percent right off the bat because we don't know much much more in terms of the information. So right now we got 40% in, okay? 5% for maintenance and 35% for everything else. 
and this is probably about right, okay? It's about 40%. So we got 72,000 is net operating income. Total expenses is about 30,000. Uh, yeah, just under 50,000, okay? Um, and the net operating income is uh, 42. Okay, so let me open this up so we can actually see everything. There you go. So we're up at 11,000, all right? So it's not too bad. So let's go to the cash flow max. Can we raise the rents? I was gonna say, always put it up 2.5% uh, above market because it's gonna appreciate over time, right? So 2.5% is a good price, is a good percentage uh, per year. Uh, it didn't get it. It will depend on what state it's in and, and there may maybe be less, maybe more. So you're gonna have to investigate that. That's kind of a safe number to play with. Laundry, six units. Uh, it doesn't look like there is any laundry facilities here. I would leave that zero parking zero. It says that let me see here off street on site parking. So uh, we're not going to charge that for, for we're not going to put that in as an anticipation that we're going to get generate income for the parking. So pet fee, I always like to put at least one pet in. Okay, in the event it could be more, and that's just a bonus for you. Okay, uh, one hundred uh, per month for the dog and. Uh, and Okay. Other, we don't know, right? We don't know that information. Once we gather some information, we'll be able to determine. Okay. So tenants pay utilities. We're going to say yes. Even though we're putting 35%, 40%, usually that's roughly about right. If tenants are paying utilities, if you are the landlord are paying utilities, you want to put something more. You want to put like maybe 50%. Okay. Just to be safe. Uh, energy efficient lighting. I don't know. I'd put maybe 2% if that. Okay, it's a small pop, it's a small building. Let's see here, 2%, uh, lower interest rates. No, we're not gonna lower interest rate, not in this market right now, okay? It's 5%, but can we increase the down payment? We sure can, okay? Because right now it's only 118,000 on a 20% down. So we're gonna increase this, we're gonna click that, and then we're gonna move over here and we're gonna say, okay, how much are we gonna increase it? Let's increase it by 10%, so we'll put it 30. And what's the number here? Now? All right, so we're up to seventeen thousand. Okay, which is great. Uh, we're gonna click. Make sure you click that. Self maintenance, uh, six units. You can potentially self maintenance if you live in the area. But if you're an investor, more than likely you're outside of the outside of uh, Pueblo. You're probably not gonna do that, right? Okay, so we're gonna go self maintenance. We're gonna go no, no. All right. If you do, if you live close, and then you obviously you're gonna save another five another five percent, right? So rent guarantee, we can say no because our rent guarantee program uh, that we know of does not apply to U.S. properties. Reduce offer price, yes. Uh, let's see if there's any indication that the property has been on the market for how long. Let's see. That's always a good indication. Date created. Ten thirty one. Okay, so. So if this was created in uh, October 31st, which is not too long ago, right? So they may not be inclined to to do a to do a, a you know an adjustment in price. But let's go in at 350, okay? It's 393. Let's go in at, at uh, sorry 550 for just for argument's sake. 550,000. It's we boost up the cash flow to nineteen grand, just over, just close to twenty thousand per year. Okay, per year. So we're going to come down here. Property is actually valued at six eighty, according to the amount of income and expenses and the uh, and the uh, your cap rate in that area. So we're if we get it for five fifty, it's worth six uh, six eighty. This is a pretty good investment. If you scroll down here, all around, it's a good deal. Okay. We have a, the, a green light, red light uh, software program automatically tells you if this is a good deal or not, and it does, okay? All cap rate, deal cap rate is above market. Um, cash on cash return is good. Uh, monthly profit and your yearly cash flow is good too. So um, in, in addition, our 50% rule, right? As long as the rent is 50% above 1% of the, of the, of the, 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 op, the sale price, it's we, t we consider it a particularly good deal. Okay, so uh, you can go into a vendor take back if you could want. You can kind of play with the numbers in here. I mean, it's 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 already you know pretty affordable. Uh, that's something that you can do. Just experiment it. That's what this software is for. Okay, you just go in and you experiment with it. See what happens. Again, just reiterate, we got a rent analysis rules of thumb. This is roughly what the the total yearly um, cost is for for 
uh, taxes based off of 1%. Again, you can use all these numbers if you want. You just have to copy and paste it, just kind of reference, and you can kind of put it in where you need to, all right? Uh, Five-year return, sell or buy, uh, sorry, sell or refi the property over five years, and you just complete everything in blue. So if you have a, if you're ref if you're selling the property in five years and you're doing a sale commission, you maybe find a realtor that does four percent. You just make the change here, okay? And that will reflect in your profits. So this is another one in the in the books. Uh, this is actually a pretty nice property in in Pueblo, uh, Colorado, uh, La Morada, uh, five twenty West Eleventh Street. So reach out, guys. Reach out to uh, to um, John, John Martinez uh, at 719-240-2502 uh, to see if uh, if maybe you can hopefully, you know, put an offer on this property. It seems like a really good deal. Um, and again, you can reach out to him and ask him for the OM, which is the, you know, the offering memorandum. But uh, in particular, ask for the P&L uh, and the, um, the rent rolls. And that way you can narrow this down, you know, to the dollar. And again, keep in mind that information is all it's always skewed as well. So, you know, once if you do decide to put an offer and you're gonna have to do your due diligence, right? You're gonna have to go in and, and then actually investigate this a little further because you should be overstate that too, those numbers too. But it just gives you a better idea as opposed to using market rents. Okay. So this is uh this these kind of numbers work on a on a perfect scenario. Um, you know, where this is what the market is telling you based off of off of the the, the research that we've done on online okay so thank you uh until next time